Hello and welcome to another Treasure Seekers. If you haven't watched us before, my name is Sue. And my name is Jane. And we're going to start as we usually do with our little hello song. You ready to join in? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, we're glad you're here today. And we'll sing to Jesus. Hello Jesus, hello Jesus, hello Jesus, we're glad you're here with us. Well done. So we'll sit Jesus down there. We've got our other Jesus figure who's got his arms widely stretched out, ready to help us with our little prayer. Join in if you know the words. As high as the sky, as deep as the sea, as wide as the world, is God's love for me. Now we need some instruments. For our treasure seekers song. We are treasure seekers, we are treasure seekers, we have fun, we have fun. Won't you come and join us, won't you come and join us, one by one, one by one. Well done, give yourselves a clap. Now today we're going to be thinking about how we celebrate somebody special coming to visit. Hmm. I wonder if you can think about someone who's really special that might come maybe to our city to visit. And how would we get ready for them? Hmm. Maybe this person might be the Queen. Her up there so you can see her. If the Queen was coming to visit where we live, we might need to get ready in a very special way. We might make or buy a flag so that we could wave, so that she could see that we were there to say hello to her. want to put out a very special carpet for her to walk on. Oh, it's a really special soft red carpet. She might like to, to walk up that. I wonder if we might have some special guards on parade or perhaps some policemen lining the way and I wonder how she might travel. Maybe she'd come in a royal carriage, a royal coach pulled by coachmen and horses. I wonder if that's a, a way that an important person would travel. Let's put her in her carriage and see if we can bring her in. You could have a go at making a flag, couldn't you, to wave? I'm going to give Jane my flag to wave so that I can ride the carriage in that comes. People might be cheering. Hooray! 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 We could have the Queen get down from her carriage and she would walk up our red carpet. And that would be a really special way to welcome her, wouldn't it? And she would know that we were pleased to see her and welcome her as the Queen. But today we're not thinking about a Queen. We're thinking about a King. But not this King. We're going to be thinking about 
King Jesus. And to help us to, to think about Jesus, we're going to sing, We have a King who cares for people. Because that's why Jesus came to our earth, isn't it? To care for people. So join in. We have a king who cares for people. We have a king who cares for people. We have a king who cares for people. And his name is Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Early in the morning. And that's what we're going to be finding out about today. Jesus the King. Jerusalem was full of people. They had all come for a special time of festival called the Passover. And they knew that Jesus was going to visit the city. So they wanted to get ready for Jesus and to show him that they welcomed him. They thought he might come like a king or a prince. They weren't sure quite what to expect. But to show that they were really excited, they'd got palm branches off the trees and they were waving them in their hands just like they were flags. I think before we tell the story, we could sing a little bit about those branches. Trees are waving a royal welcome. Trees are waving a royal welcome. Trees are waving a royal welcome for this king called Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. Well, Jesus had some of his friends with him on their journey to Jerusalem. And Jesus had a plan about how he was going to travel into Jerusalem. So he said to two of his friends, go ahead of me, go into the village and there you will find a young donkey called a colt tied up with its mother. Untie it and bring it to me. Now the friends of Jesus were a bit worried and they said, but what if we are stopped? Just say, the master needs it, Jesus told them. So the disciples did what Jesus said. They set off into the nearby village. And sure enough, just as Jesus had described, they saw a mother donkey with her small coat, coat a donkey that had never been ridden before, by its side. So very carefully and very gently they untied the rope that was around the donkey's neck and they were just about to lead the donkey off to Jesus when the owner of the donkey appeared from his home and said, hey, what are you doing there with my donkey? The friends of Jesus remembered what Jesus had told them to say and they said, the master needs it. And the man smiled and nodded to show it was all right. And he went back into his home and the disciples knew that he wanted his donkey to be used by Jesus on that special day. So... The friends of Jesus got back with the young donkey and they got it ready for Jesus. Remember, it had never been ridden before. Very gently, they put their own cloaks on its back 
to make it like a saddle. And then they help Jesus to get on. Usually when a donkey was being ridden for the first time, you would expect it to feel rather worried and maybe kick up its back legs or ee or very loudly. But this little donkey seemed to know that it had got a special load on its back and it didn't seem to mind at all that Jesus was riding on it. Jesus set off down the road, down towards Jerusalem. Now people saw him coming from quite a long way off, so they started the cheering. Hooray! Hooray! Hosanna! Hooray! Hosanna! Hosanna, they called. Hosanna to the son of David. And that meant that they were so pleased to see him that they thought he was as great or even greater than their King David. They threw down the branches from the trees to make like a soft carpet for Jesus to ride on. They even laid down their coats and their cloaks to make it look really colourful and special, like a carpet for Jesus to travel on. But do you know, not everyone was pleased to see Jesus. There was a group of men called the Pharisees. They were people that worked in and near the temple. And they were cross to see the people cheering and waving and looking pleased to see Jesus. And they said to Jesus, Stop the people calling out to you. Stop this calling out and this waving. But then Jesus said a strange thing. If I tell the people to be quiet, he said, the stones themselves will start to sing. What a strange thing to say. Did he mean that the whole earth, the whole world, was pleased to celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem? I wonder. He went straight into the city gates. Because he knew he'd got a very busy week ahead of him teaching in the temple. Shall we sing about We Have a King Who Rides a Donkey? We have a king who rides a donkey. We have a king who rides a donkey. We have a king who rides a donkey. And his name is Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Early in the morning. There's another little song that we can sing. And it goes, he'll be riding on a donkey when he comes. And there are some words to join in with. If you can say, praise God. He'll be riding on a donkey when he comes. He'll be riding on a donkey when he comes. Praise God. He'll be riding on a donkey. Riding on a donkey. Riding on a donkey when he comes. Praise God. Now for the next verse, we've got two things. We've got to shout out, praise God and our King. We're going to be singing, oh, we'll all go out to meet him when he comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet him when he comes, our King. Oh, we'll all go out to meet him when he comes, 
Oh, King. We'll all go out to meet him. We'll all go out to meet him. We'll all go out to meet him when he comes. Praise God, our King. (gasps) Next verse. Three things to remember. Praise God, our King, God's Son. And we'll be singing. We'll be waving our palm branches. Is Sue ready with hers? I am. We'll He'll be waving, waving our palm branches when he comes, God's son. We'll be waving our palm branches when he comes, God's son. We'll be waving our palm branches, waving our palm branches, waving our palm branches when he comes. Praise God, our King, God's son. Well done. Very good. Next verse, four things. Get your thinking heads on. It will be, praise God, our King, God's Son, we're saved. We'll be shouting out Hosanna when he comes, we're saved. We'll be shouting out Hosanna when he comes, we're saved. We'll be shouting out Hosanna, shouting out Hosanna, shouting out Hosanna when he comes. Praise God, our King, God's Son, we're saved. That was a lot to remember. (laughs) Well done, everybody. Very good. Jesus was busy all week in the temple, teaching the people all about God's love, telling them stories and explaining about God's rescue plan for the world. Everybody listened carefully to what Jesus said. They didn't want to miss a single word. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were also listening. They didn't like what they heard. They didn't like it that Jesus called God his father. They thought that that was wrong. And they were making a bad plan to have Jesus arrested. But they could see how much the people loved Jesus. So... They thought they would need to be very careful. One day when Jesus was in the temple, teaching the people, he noticed that in one part there were lots of people buying and selling things. This made Jesus very angry. And he said, you shouldn't be doing this here. And he chased out the sheep. And he told the people selling pigeons that they must take them out of the temple. And then Jesus turned over the stools of the people who'd been selling the pigeons. And then he turned over the people's tables who had been changing money. And so it all spilt out onto the floor. Jesus was very cross. He said, you have made my father's house into something like a marketplace. My father's house is a house of prayer, not for buying and selling things. He was right, wasn't he? To move the walls of the temple,
Here's a little rhyme that maybe some of your mums and dads might know, or your grannies and grandparents. We do it with our hands and we make a little church and you have to link your fingers together. It goes like this. Here is the church. Pop your fingers up. Here is the steeple. Open the door. Move your thumbs. And here are the people. Shall we try that one more time? Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open the door. And there are the people. So the people were in the church. People came to the temple. But we don't have to go to a temple or a church to be able to pray to God. Jesus told us that we can pray to God our Father wherever we are. So, let's have our people. Then we can maybe think of some people that we'd like to pray for. Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent Jesus to be our King. Help us to be excited to welcome King Jesus this Easter. Help all the people that we know and love to welcome King Jesus as well. Help us to think about and to love our friends and our family. And dear God, please look after them too. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the Easter story. So we've heard about Palm Sunday, mm -hmm. Jesus coming into Jerusalem. We've heard about Jesus' busy few days teaching in the temple. I wonder what will come next. I wonder. You'll until have we... to watch next time. Until we see you again. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>